Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at four of the most recent Star Wars The Black Series figures I've picked up here. These figures are from the Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary Wave. We do have the Scout Trooper, the Chewbacca from Jabba's Palace. I'm once again filming in a different location as I'm still in the middle of putting together the new display. So hopefully soon I can bring you guys a updated collection video. We did also finally get the Wicket. That looks really great there. And the last one is the R2-D2. There is still a couple of figures that I do need from this 40th wave. That being the Gamorrean Guards, the Royal Guards, the Rebel Troopers, the Vader and the Luke. There is the packaging for all four figures. Now we'll go ahead, we'll take all these figures out of the packaging and take a closer look. I won't be running too far into any articulation or anything like that with these ones. More so just an overview of these figures and what they do come with. The first one here is the Scout Trooper. We've seen this one many a times. This is the first Scout Trooper I have that's not either a Riot Scout or the one from the speeder bike for the Mandalorian. So this one does look really great here. He does just come with the pistol blaster there, as you can see. But there is some really great weathering and details done over this figure. I'll probably end up getting a second of this Trooper. Again, we'll just have to wait and see. The next one here is the Chewbacca. This one is from the Jarvis Palace. For accessories, he does come with his crossbow there. And as you can see, this one does have a newly sculpted head. The chain there around the neck is not removable. It's all within the sculpt of the head itself. But the hanging chain definitely could have been a bit longer. Or even a different kind of plastic or a light metal. That way we could get a bit more free range of motion, especially with someone holding it. But overall, this does look pretty great here. And for the most part, this sculpt does still hold up. It just would have been nice to, of course, eventually have seen a newer Chewbacca sculpt. The next one here is the Wicket. Finally, my second Ewok that I do have in the collection. Quite a few accessories this one does come with, as you can see them all laid out there. He's also quite a bit smaller than I thought he would be, but there is quite a lot of detail that they have put into this one. So he's looking really great there. And the final figure is the R2-D2. Once having this one in hand, this is actually a really great figure. I'm definitely going to have to pick up another one or two of these just to throw throughout the collection in the Clone Wars prequels, other sort of areas where he can fit into. Really nice scaling on this one. The front wheel does come down there. There is accessory storage for all these accessories. And overall, just some really great paint and details done on this figure. Definitely one I'm sure they'll be able to reuse at some stage. But like I said, I think I'll have to pick up a few of these ones. So as I mentioned, really happy to have these four. These are the first of the 40th anniversary figures I have picked up. Like I said, there is a few more I do have on the way. I've got quite a few other figures around that I just haven't had a chance to get around to opening yet. As you guys will see, it's been a while since I've uploaded recently. So hopefully I can smash out a few more videos in the coming weeks. So as always, guys, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one.